All right, chapter 18. We start with the ghost fish. Let's uh, take these out. First of all, I'm going to switch to the dragon sword and do the old faithful. In fact, I'll use a nympho. Jump and attack. Jump and attack. So keep spamming that for a bit. We are very close to the end of the game here as well. Okay, so once those ghost fish are taken care of, we are going to head through here. Grab this key item. And we also have one more golden scarab to get, and we also have one more fiend challenge as well. So let's go check up here. Great elixir if you need it. And we can always pop a cheeky save. Check this body. Grab that map. We got some more ghost fish coming on up. I'm gonna equip some yellow essence accessories and stuff because uh, we can grab some extra yellow essence by doing that. So armlet of benediction and also holy gauntlet there as well. Take these out. Grab this chest. Favorite elixir. So we are getting slightly increased cash because of our equipment setup. Nice. So increased cash is always good. got the uh, ghost fish. We're going to do the old faithful. Jump and attack, jump and attack. Once that is clear, we head through these double doors. And after that cutscene, we grab this key item. We can also check the ninja again for a diary. Grab this chest here. And instead of heading back through the double doors, we're actually going to head back into the city as we have a fiend challenge ahead of us. So I'm just going to go straight back into the city. These double doors will lead us back down here. A few enemies here. Okay, so we have a fiend challenge coming up just through that portal behind us. However, there is a shop just ahead, so feel free to pop back to the shop to stock up on any items. I'm going to go back and get some health potions. So here is the shop. Might need to kill those enemies there to clear the path. Let's head on inside. So grab any upgrades or stock up on any things here if you want to. I'm going to go for 
as many health potions as possible. I'm also going to grab one Great Devil Elixir. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with all that stuff. Once again, go for any upgrades and stuff on any weapons if you want to upgrade those. I am ready for the Fiend Challenge, so let's go back to the portal. I'm pretty confident the reward for this Fiend Challenge is a Talisman of Rebirth. So if you don't want or need that, just keep that in mind. We're going to change my accessories ready for the fight. So armlet is going to be... We'll use the key, armlet of fortune, and enhancements we will go for the ninpo. And we'll do the old faithful. going to use that ninpo and we can get the red essence here as well and obviously because we've got the key armlet on it allows us to get two essence back for every red essence that we pick up uh two ninpo back for every red essence that we pick up which is always useful That ultimate technique is so cool. So just keep on smashing this. The level 2 ultimate technique with the true dragon sword is really cool. So if you can get any of that, feel free to pop that. Just like that. I'll never get tired of that. Try not to absorb the red essence using the ultimate technique charge. It's always best to manually pick up the red essence so you can replenish your Nimpo. And there we go. Pretty confident this is a talisman of rebirth. It is. So like I mentioned before, if you don't want or need that, feel free to not do this challenge if you don't want to. Other than that, I'm just going to head to the shop for one last top up. After we uh, ninpo these guys. All right, let's head to the shop. So we have the final stretch of the game coming up here. So I'd recommend stocking up on as many potions and stuff as you can do. We're going to go for Elixir of the Devil Way. We might be using some explosive arrows and some cores as well, so feel free to stock up on those arrows and cores. Once you are ready to go, let's head on back. And essentially just retracing our steps at this point, just going back through these doors, over to the double doors.
and up the stairs. Through double doors. Feel free to kill these ghost fish if you want to. I'm just going to head on past. You can also grab a save around the corner if you want to save the game. Once you are ready to go, then head on inside. Alright, so we have to make our way to the top of this tower. We are of course going to use our best friend, the Ninpo. Just going to make sure that we have everything equipped for that. So we have the Fortune Armlet for increased key buildup. And we also have the Enhancement, which is the Falcon Gauntlet for the Ninpo boost as well. Some red essence there. Just try to have all the enemies kind of on the screen at the same time so the Nimpo does get all of them if you can do. Sometimes I find if they're a little bit further away then it doesn't always get all of them. Usually a bigger weapon is better to actually fight these with, so I'm going to switch to something like the Lunar Staff. Should be a little bit better. There we go, and that's the first room clear. Make sure to put the key item in here. Once that is in, we can move forward. We got our best friends, the ghost fish. So we're going to put on the true dragon sword to do the old faithful. You can also get some extra ninpo from these red essence. Which is good. If it does drop red essence, then we can use that in the upcoming room which is always handy. And here we go again, room number two. And just rinse and repeat. So that one didn't get the guy behind the column. Hoping for a red. Yes, here we go. And that's room number two. And we proceed forward once again. Might be able to get some red essence if we're lucky. We are. Okay, it seems clear. Proceed inside. Room number three, rinse and repeat. Huh. 
And there we go. Key item. And once again, move forward. The old uh, ghost fish trick. Okay, seems clear. So from this point, we grab this chest. Great elixir in there. Might leave that in there. We could always grab it if this room goes a bit wrong and we take some damage. Also, it's worth mentioning here, this is the final golden scarab just down here. So before we go into this door, make sure to drop off this ledge and then just follow this around. And there we have the final golden scarab, all 50. From there, jump back down and go back inside. We don't need to fight these, so we can just proceed forward. If I can get in this door with these fish still alive, I will do, but it seems that we can't, so yeah, I'm going to have to uh, take them all out when they stop fighting me. There we go. We could use the uh, Great Elixir here and then pick up the spare. There we go. Next room. Hoping for red essence drops, if possible. There we go, and room clear, key item. Head on up. More ghost fish. can kill those if you want to, or just skip past them as there is a Team Ninja logo. There we go, so make sure to press the Team Ninja logo, that will give you full HP and full Ninpo. Now it's probably a good time to check if we have any Life of the Gods and stuff like that to use, so let's take a look, see what we have. We have one Life of the Gods. Might as well use that. We stocked up on Talismans of Rebirths if we need to use those. We got some Elixirs. That's all looking good. We have some Great Elixirs in these chests as well, but we can save those for now. And Great Elixir in that one as well. Grab those Elixirs if you need to in these chests. All right, so at this point, we are very, very close to finishing the game. What I would recommend here is going back and handing in the 50 golden scarabs at Muramasa's shop. We won't get a chance to hand in those if we proceed any further forward. So let's go back and hand in those golden scarabs. Unfortunately, the closest shop is the one back in Tyron City. So we're going to have to go all the way back to the city to hand in the golden scarabs. Okay, so we are finally here. Let's go hand in those 50 golden scarabs. Plasma Saber Mark II. 50 golden scarabs. That's all that exists in the world. I can't believe it. Nice.
And there we have it. So feel free to grab any potions or upgrades whilst we are here. I'm going to buy some Devil Elixirs. And also, let's see if we can upgrade the weapon that we just got. We cannot. That's fine. I'm going to grab the uh, Great Devil Elixir. And we'll be on our way. I think we should check out this new sword that we just picked up. Let's have a look. So equipment and melee Plasma Saber Mark II. An upgraded version of the Plasma Saber in which the Plasma Oscillator has been tuned to the maximum. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, that sounds awesome. Nice. Let's give it a try on some enemies. Nice. <laughs> Okay, that weapon is really cool. So let's use that. I would like to try and see its ultimate technique level 2 if possible, so I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and see its ultimate technique level 2. See if we can uh, see what that looks like. Nice. Okay, cool. So this is basically the dragon sword, or the uh, true dragon sword. So once we have finished up everything that we want to, we'll head back inside to finish the game. Head back up to the top of the tower. Okay, so once we have made it back to the top of the tower, make sure to grab the Team Ninja logo for a health and Ninpo replenish. Grab any elixirs if you do need to stock up on them. Pop a cheeky save. And then we're going to head into this portal. have to fight a few fiends and a boss in this room. Nice. I think the uh, Lunar Staff is probably a better choice with its uh, area attack. In this room. We have our best friend, the Tentacle Monster. So, true Dragon Sword here. There's one Tentacle. And there's two. So we're just going to rinse and repeat, chop off those tentacles. Use ultimate technique. And there we go. Takes care of the tentacle monster.
So now we have to take out some fiends whilst he's shooting some uh, magics at us at the same time. He warps us to another boss. What I'm going to do here is actually just change my accessory a little bit here. I'm going to change the armlet over to the armlet of the sun for a bit more attack power. And with this one, just once again, I usually just stay to the side. Just kind of dodge to the side a little bit there. To avoid that grab. Usually just dodge around a little bit for that one. And that takes care of him. Back through the portal. And this is a lot of dodging and blocking. Can also use Ninpo. Trying to get a flying swallow to connect if possible. get some attacks in there once he does the uh, ground punch. And what you can also do there is, if you see him kind of like charge up, Kind of like charges up in the sky. You can use the Nimpo there as he's doing the charge up and it kind of gets him stuck. But that Inazuma Nimpo only gets him stuck when he does that one specific charged up attack. So look out for him charging and then use your Nimpo. Usually it will get him stuck on the ground. After that, grab the key item. And head on forward. So we are very close to the end at this point. We've got a couple more fights to do. We've got all the scarabs. We've done all the fiend challenges. Make sure to grab the Team Ninja logo there. After we grab the logo, we can put the key item in. And make sure to pop a cheeky save. So make sure to grab your save, grab the Team Ninja logo, and any elixirs from these chests before we proceed. When you're ready, jump on up. Okay, so we got a bit of uh, platforming stuff to do here. We need to essentially try and dodge these lasers uh, whilst attacking the shoulders here. So you kind of need to go up and down. So head up towards the shoulder here. Try to avoid these lasers if possible. You kind of hold down block. You hold down block and it allows you to move the platform around. Just keep attacking those shoulders, watch out for those 
the lasers. If you do get hit by the lasers, don't worry too much. It just puts you back on the platform. You just take a bit of damage. Move around to the uh, sort of chest area here and then attack the front. And that's the fight. So that's basically just shoulder, shoulder, and then chest. Then we have phase two. So I'm going to use some projectiles here. So equip the. We'll go with the explosive arrows to start with. And once these start shooting at you. The flail is also quite good to use. To smash all those. Once he's jumped onto the ground here, we're going to put the true dragon sword back on, or actually the plasma saber, let's use that. Just attack those legs there, gonna put the flail back on for this next bit. Again, just using those explosive arrows here. comes the flail. Watch out for that. I'm going to switch over to the cores. And also the sword again. Oh no, he's not gone back onto the ground yet, so back to the flail. And flail for the skulls. Switch to the sword, even though he's got about three HP left. There we go. And that is the fight. And that is the end of chapter 18. So we just have one more bit to do. We are 99% of the way through. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, remember to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Well, I was I was hoping What? Wait. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> through a wall? <laughs>